Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison of a Cafe Boulevardia, which is inclusive of coffee or a coffee liqueur versus a classic Boulevardia. Personally, I like to serve my Boulevardias over ice in a rocks glass or a double old fashioned glass. Uh, but today the Cafe Boulevardia recipe that I'm using calls for serving it up in a Nick and Nora glass. So therefore I'll do the same for both so I can do a more of a one for one kind of comparison. This recipe was shared in the STB or the Steve the Bartender Cocktail Crew, which is a Facebook group we've got. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you guys want to check it out. I highly recommend it because there's about two, two and a half thousand people in there at the moment. And there's a core group of collaborators and people that are sharing a lot of recipes every single day and especially on Friday, Saturday nights. So if you're looking for some inspiration, then check it out. And if you've got questions, there's a lot of people that are, uh, you know, going back and forth and answering those questions. So highly recommend checking it out. And I jump in from time to time and throw in a, a few tidbits of information if I can help out. But this one uh, comes from milkanddust.com.au and was recommended by Stefan Foisy in the group. And thank you to Caleb, Caleb T for using Buy the Back Bar to purchase the Knob Creek Rye. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, so let's get started on this recipe. So the Boulevardia calls for a rye whiskey, Campari, and a sweet vermouth. So we're doing some slight substitutions. So for the Amaro, instead of the Campari, we're using Montenegro. So another Amaro. And instead of the sweet vermouth, we're using a coffee liqueur. All the information will be in the description below. My wife behind the camera is looking incredibly confused the way I'm explaining things. So all the recipes, all the information are always in the description. So check it out. And of course, thank you to our new video editor. The recipe will always be up here from now on. Uh, and you can also download our app on Android and very soon to come on iOS. Stay tuned, guys. Uh, so, so I'm starting with 30 mil, one ounce of rye whiskey. 30 mil of Mr. Black. One ounce, which is a coffee liqueur. So if you don't have Mr. Black, you don't have access to it. You can use another coffee liqueur, something local, or Kahlua, Tia Maria. But keep in mind that the those two are gonna be sweeter. There's a higher sugar content. So you might want to stir for a little bit longer, use a little bit less coffee liqueur, so it's not so sweet, depending on your personal taste. And then we've got Amaro Montenegro. So 15 mil, half an ounce. And the original recipe from milkanddust.com calls for chocolate and cardamom bitters. I don't have those. So I believe they're by Scrappies. So two different bitters. I've got Jocolato, which is uh, cacao and other spices. So I, I think it kind of blends those two, two bitters into one. Couple of dashes and that's that recipe done. Change my jiggers over and we'll start on the classic Boulevardia calling for just a smidge over 30 mil. So 37.5, one and a quarter ounce. Move over there so it's nice and easy to see. And then 30 mil, one ounce of sweet vermouth. So this is local. This is from the Adelaide Hills from near where I live, but it is a Torino style. So Italian style vermouth. Then Campari. 30 mil, one ounce. So fill your mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for 30, 40 seconds. Now, last time I got called out for adding ice in the first drink, sorry, in the second drink too soon, and therefore by stirring this, they would be different dilution levels. But without the stirring, it actually doesn't add a lot of dilution. 
Um, I'll leave a link to an extremely informative article um, which talks about the, the rate of dilution in drinks. And so if you're in a bar and if you're making drinks and you if you have two cocktails side by side, you quickly add ice, you stir one, then you stir the next, it's gonna be very minimal difference. But if you wanna see the technical science behind it, then you can check out the link in the description below. Clean guys, no cross contamination here. And whilst I like to have a question of the day in every single video, I can't always do it because I'm always, always seem to be in a rush, but a lot of people ask me where I get these Nick and Nora glasses from. I'll leave a link in the description below. And this is the first time I've used this one. It's a Nick and Nora, but it's got this like really nice etching on it. It's a sample from a supplier. I don't actually have any stock of these in Australia, but I'm sure I can find it on Amazon and share a link. So the Cafe Boulevardia and a classic Boulevardia served up. Just gonna express the orange oils over the top. You can throw that twist straight in there if you like, but I'm about to sample them so I can tell you what I think. The Cafe Boulevardia. As soon as I bring that up to my face, I, I get those coffee notes, that richness, um, those sweet bitter components from the Montenegro. I actually think this is a little bit of a dry cocktail because we're using Mr. Black, which doesn't have a, a high sugar content. So even if you're using um, something like Tia Maria or Kahlua, it probably still work quite well. Maybe if you just drop the proportion a tiny little bit, but it's, it's, it's dry already. So even if you up the sugar, it would still work. And a classic Boulevardia. The bitterness is a lot more profound from the Campari. Like, that's just a given. The Campari is a lot more bitter than the Montenegro. That's a sweeter style Amaro. Um, this has got more, more booze, more fire, more pepperiness from the, the rye whiskey, more spice. So to sum it up, uh, the Cafe Boulevardia, coffee forward, it's rich, it's a little bit sweeter. I, I did say it's dry, but it is sweeter in comparison to this one. Um, and the classic Boulevardia is spicy and a lot more bitter, more bold. What do I prefer? Um, I've said it before, it all comes down to the moment, the, uh, the situation, but I'm a little bit sleepy, so I'd probably go for the Cafe Boulevardia. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video. Cheers.